poems from gitanjali by rabindranath tagore poems 21 to 30 video by barry nirmal about gitanjali by tagore gitanjali is a collection of poems by the indian poet rabindranath tagore who received the nobel prize for literature mainly for this book gitanjali in hindi means prayer offering of songs this book was written in bengali and translated into english by the author himself it has been translated into many languages poem number 21 i must launch out my boat the languid hours pass by on the shore alas for me the spring has done its flowering and taken leave and now with the burden of faded futile flowers i wait and linger the waves have become clamorous and upon the bank in the shady lane the yellow leaves flutter and fall what emptiness do you gaze upon do you not feel a, a thrill passing through the air with the notes of the faraway song floating from the other shore poem number 22 In the deep shadows of the rainy July with secret steps thou walkest silent as night eluding all watchers today the morning has closed its eyes heedless of the insistent calls of the loud east wind and a thick veil has been drawn over the ever wakeful blue sky the woodlands have hushed their songs doors are all shut at every house thou art the solitary wayfarer in this deserted street oh my dear friend my only friend my best beloved the gates are open in my house do not pass by like a dream poem number 23 art thou abroad on this stormy night on thy journey of love my friend the sky groans like one in despair i have no sleep tonight ever and again i open my door and look out on the darkness my friend i can see nothing before me i wonder where lies thy path by what dim shore of the ink black river by what far edge of the frowning forest through what mazy depth of gloom art thou threading thy course to come to me my friend poem number 24 if the day is done if birds sing no more if the wind has flogged tired then draw the veil of darkness thick upon me even as thou hast wrapped the earth with the coverlet of sleep and tenderly closed the petals of the drooping lotus at dusk from the traveler whose sack of provisions is empty before the voyage is ended whose garment is torn and dust laden whose strength is exhausted remove shame and poverty and renew his life like a flower under the cover of the kindly night poem number 25 in the night of weariness Let me give myself up to sleep without a struggle resting my trust upon thee let me not force my flagging spirit into a poor preparation for thy worship it is thou who drawest the veil of night upon the tired eyes of the day to renew his sight in a fresher gladness of awakening poem number 26 he came and sat by my side but i woke not what a cursed sleep it was oh miserable me he came when the night was still he had his harp in his hands and my dreams become resonant with his melodies alas why are my nights all thus lost ah why do i ever miss his sight whose breath touches my sleep Poem number 27 Light oh where is thy light 
Kindle it with the burning fire of desire. There is the lamp, but never a flicker of a flame. Is such thy fate, my heart? Ah, death were better by far for thee. Misery knocks at thy door, and her message is that thy Lord is wakeful, and he calls thee to the love Christ through the darkness of night. The sky is overcast with clouds, and the rain is ceaseless. I know not what this is that stirs in me. I know not its meaning. A moment's flash of lightning drags down the deeper gloom on my sight, and my heart gropes for the path to where the music of the night calls me. Light, oh, where is the light? Kindle it with the burning fire of desire. It thunders and the wind rushes, screaming through the void. The night is black as a black stone. Let not the hours pass by in the dark. Kindle the lap of love with thy life. Poem number 28. Obstinate are the trammels, but my heart aches when I try to break them. Freedom is all I want, but to hope for it, I feel ashamed. I am certain that priceless wealth is in thee, and that thou art my best friend, but I have not the heart to sweep away the tinsel that fills my room. The shroud that covers me is a shroud of dust and death. I hate it, yet hug it in love. My debts are large, my failures great, my shame secret and heavy, yet when I come to ask for my good, I quake in fear, lest my prayer be granted. Poem number 29. He whom I enclose with my name is weeping in this dungeon. I am ever busy building this wall all around, and as this wall goes up into the sky day by day, I lose sight of my true being in its dark shadow. I take pride in this great wall, and I plaster it with dust and sand, lest a least hole should be left in this name, and for all the care I take, I lose sight of my true being. Poem number 30. I came out alone on my way to my trust. But who is this that follows me in the silent dark? I move aside to avoid his presence, but I escape him not. He makes the dust rise from the earth with his swagger. He adds his loud voice to every word that I utter. He is my own little self, my Lord. He knows no shame but I am ashamed to come to, the, to thy door in his company. 